My time here in Mournhold has been brief, but I think I have come to like this place. It would have been much better if Shani and I had been able to relax while here on our date. But then I did get rid of the Dark Brotherhood and made a good contact here with the Royal Guard Captain, doing all his work to root out those disloyal subjects. If the King was a good and honest one, then he wouldn't need to hunt down those who are disloyal because of his murderous activities. He's done a lot of wrong in his time, poisonings being the most common tactic of his to remove unwanted persons in his way. But overall, when I think about it, all this work so far and I still do not get to see this immoral and corrupt king, is it worth it? No, no it's not, not even to satisfy Shani. However, it's another adventure and we shall see how it goes from here. Right now I'm content to just see where it leads. It's a bit of a break from tromping all over Vardenfell and dealing with Dagoth Ur and his minions. The Royal Guard Captain wants me to find who is publishing this newspaper, The Common Tongue, so I will, and I will give them good treatment and not harm them just like I did with the three other people I warned to leave Mournhold. I think it's the right thing to do. So, find out who is printing this paper. Who they claim is slandering the king. Hmm. What was it called again? To find it. The common tongue. Highly illegal, highly illegal newsletter implicating King Lalu Halseth Amorowan in a number of murders. I believe that he has committed a lot of murders. So he did say to ask where people don't really care. They put money above everything else. And so I've come Long to the bazaar because I don't know where else to go. If that's the case. Mara's mercy. Mara's mercy. Time to talk? I have a few minutes. Oh, my shield's a little bit too bright. Hello. Um, would you happen to know who the anonymous writer is for the paper? Don't know a thing about it. It's just one of life's little mysteries, I guess. For the common tongue. Hmm. I've got a few minutes if you need something. It'd be too obvious if I just go around asking everybody. We both I shall be. I'll thank you to be brief, Sarah. Hello? Spoke with him for a few minutes. Do you happen to know who's the writer of this paper? If I were looking around for an anonymous writer, I'd talk to someone who deals in writing books and scrolls, for example, perhaps a person with a shady reputation, like a pawnbroker. Actually, is a good idea. Pawnbroker. There is a pawnbroker over here. Justice never. There's also a bookseller. Greetings. The bookseller is in the middle. Respect is repaid, so. I believe it's here. Oh, it's the armory. Bookseller. Hello? Whatever you want, within reason, of course. You happen to know who the writer, anonymous writer, is? If I were looking around for an anonymous writer, talk to someone who deals in writing books and scrolls for example, perhaps a person with a shady reputation like a pawnbroker. Well, you do deal with books and scrolls. And I've already found someone that's against the king here. What do you think of this anonymous writer thing? What does it say in the tongue thing that Helseth murdered lots of people? Well, he probably did, so what? Don't all kings do that kind of thing? No, not all of them. The good ones that don't. The good ones don't have to. Okay, so I don't know which one is the pawnbroker. It's one of these. Did they sell these? Zenthar's fortune to you. Ah, very religious here. <laughs> That's the Imperial cult, as a dumb would call it, though. Um, this is Traitor Pawnbroker. Ah. You honor me. Please speak. Welcome, Dark Elf. Welcome. The best deals in all the Mournhold can be found here. Low prices every day and special offers as well. Please, take your time and look through my wares. What special offers? Every now and then, I have special bargains on certain items, just for valued customers like yourself, of course. Check back with me on a regular basis, and I'll see if I can make you a deal. Hmm. You happen to know who the anonymous writer is? The common tongue? Here's what I've heard. I've heard that the guy who writes the common tongue is someone named Trails Varus. Now, 
This is not a name known to me. Personally, I make it a habit to know the names of people more home personally, and this guy I do not know, and other people I talk to also do not know, which is noteworthy in itself. I make the guess that this guy is well hid and wants to stay well hid, but where do I first hear about this guy? In the Craftsman's Hall, so maybe that is one place to look. I actually was thinking of that. That's over in God's Reach, but I've never... I don't even know what they do in the Craftsman's Hall. Oh, let's go to God's Reach. I believe it's this building right here. According to my map. There are many creatures beyond. Long live the king. Oh. There's so many people here. Out and what way. is your business here? How I are you see. Hey, it's a bit of a Hello. suspicious looking Bosmer. Hello. Interesting. Go on. Damn that villainous clay-brained Nord. I hid him. I swear by the teeth of Molag Ball himself, I'll have revenge on that corpus-licking ignoramus. Who are you talking about? What's your name? I'm High Pockets. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ah, are you in the guild? I spoke to the Bosmer for a minute. It's actually easy to get him to convince him that I am a... A likable, trustworthy person he can confide in. So who is this Claybrain Nord? Holmar, inside the bar here. I came in for a drink, mind my own damn business. When that shguar loving drunkard started raving, making fun of me, he grabbed me by the shirt, slid me across the bar, and then kicked me out the door. He'll be singing all of Saryoni's sermons at once when I've had my revenge. What do you plan on doing to the Nord? I'll help you, actually. Yes, that bastard's of a slowed, sucking coxcomb. How would you like to help me go in there and teach that flea-bitten, damp, worm-infested Nord the lesson of his life? Okay, let's go. Fantastic. Um, you're bigger than me, so I'll follow you. He's right inside the bar there. His name is Holmar? I fought and killed a Lormar. God's grant you months justice, ago. Which... Sarah. The winged guard would have to be. And that would be here. I think. No. This is the museum, so the, the, it would have to be over here. <whistles> Other nine, you are short. No wonder I hear Bosmer have trouble finding women outside of their race. Uh, I'm Nord. listening, please, go I don't ahead. see a Nord. <laughs> I like what I see. Somebody's room. Somebody's room. Sal is the name. Go what ahead, brings you here, friend? Let's go upstairs, then. I'm listening. I didn't throw that Bosmer out. Brent. Do you want or, sorry, something? Um, Altmer. You What's have to be all Omar. about. <gasps> What's that? Who's <gasps> who's there? <gasps> Give me another drink, you cockamamie bastard. <gasps> hey, hey, this must be about that blasted wood elf. <gasps> elf, I just tossed out of here, right? Yep. <gasps> <laughs> Stupid little wood elves. Back. Back for another round, eh? Well, Bosmer men are a bit annoying, but I I don't really like Nords, so... Back for another round, yeah. Once not enough, you squat, dumpy tree frog of an elf, I'll take on you and your ugly dark elf friend, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna... You're way too drunk. Homar, you're obviously drunk. Why don't you just head out and sober up? Not with that wee little beastie person peering at me with those big brown eyes of his. <laughs> He's putting a hex on me. I know it. <sighs> Back for another round. Why don't then? If you're gonna fight, time to pick on someone your own size, Homar, like me. Ah. Well, <laughs> aren't you the uppity one? All right, have at it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. Well. Now you're going to get it. Do I even have to do anything? Give in. You're dead already. No one can challenge me. Fool. You guys aren't even harming him. He felt that. Do you want something? Listen. Listen to reason, so 
That was quite satisfying, Snow Relvan. I'm sorry I had to involve you in this, but I'm glad the problem is taken care of once and for all. Please accept this money as a sign of my gratitude. Hmm. So doesn't make it right, but he was a stupid Nord. Oh. During the day, this shield is just way too bright. Okay, I came in here to go to Craftsman's Hall, not deal with the stupid Nord. Piece of the nine. That was just a bonus. And where's Shawnee? Shawnee, come on. Um, hmm. What do you think of... Oh. Anyways. Let's get out of here. Craftsman Hall is. There's a museum over there. So, in this case, it is a little bit dark. I have no idea who to talk to. Hello? Are you speaking to me, Dark Elf? I suppose you want some armor or steel or something, or another, right? Well, why don't you take care of your sniveling looks and your ungrateful tone and talk directly to the smith? I'm just an apprentice. I've got nothing to offer the likes of you, and I don't belong here. You don't belong here. That's right. I'm too good for this place. Slaving over hot forge is a job best left to the plebs. I mean, look at old Bowles over there with his torn, sweat, and saliva-stained shirt, his head like a giant corpus-infested melon, and that faltering gait of his like a guar with a venereal wart. It's a wonder he even remembers to put his pants on in the morning. He really is. Now, compare him with me. Yes, you're so fine and proper, aren't you? Except for your mouth. Yes, just look at me. I'm the picture of perfection. Look at these nails. Do you know how much I had to pay for those filthy Hlaalu manicures for these? Look at my flawless complexion, the ideal proportions of my body. Do you think the gods created such an image of majesty for the purpose of blacksmithing? Certainly not, my very naive friend. Clearly, I am destined to become an adventurer. Okay, you're destined to become an adventurer. Do you mock me, Pleb? I aspire to heights greater than you've ever dreamed of. Do you think monsters and evil men will stand any chance when they behold this majestic specimen of humanity striding towards them? No, they will quail and faint at the sight of me. I will wave their corpses aside with a swipe of my hand. My greatness is inevitable. In fact, I believe I will start on my adventuring just today. Mark my words, Dark Elf. Next time you come around, you won't find me here. Okay. Best of luck for you. Must you. This is so... Craftsman Hall. Well, if he's so dissatisfied, though. Hello. Don't be tiresome. I have no time for idle chatter with the likes of you. <sighs> you would have been a good informant. Hello. Hello, Dark Elf, and welcome to my shop. Have you come to order a piece of my famous custom armor? I see you've already made the acquaintance of my charming apprentice, Inori Faustus. Now, what's the deal with him? Aye, he's my apprentice, and the last Imperial apprentice I'll ever be forced into taking, that's for sure. He doesn't do a lick of work, preferring to sit around cleaning those damn fingernails of his and telling me what a bloody oaf I am. I doubt he'll be around much longer to bother me. He seems drawn to death like a lodestone. What custom armor were you talking about? I make ebony armor and glass armor to order, but my specialty is adamantine or adamantium armor. There's adamantium ore in the rocks beneath Mornhold, and our family have been adamantium crafters for many generations. Do you have any special adamantium armor? Do you have... It's just steel. Steel and iron. You got a lot of nice uh, repair hammers, so. An adamantium spear? Do you have an adamantium longsword? You have every, every other adamantium type of weapon, almost. Um... A spear, short sword, mace, claymore, axe, but no long sword. Hmm. You actually don't really have anything besides repair hammers that I could possibly be interested in. You've got a lot of gold. Yes, I found that a lot of vendors in Mornhold are very wealthy compared to back in Vardenfell. So, uh, what about this adamantium armor? You supply the adamantium ore, and I pay for my work, and I provide you with custom adamantium armor. Here, I've had a list of armor requirements and prices printed up. Look it over, and if you're interested, and you have the adamantium ore and the gold, speak to me again. We'll write up an order, and you'll have your new armor a day later. Okay. Wait, wait. Where do you get the ore from? 
We're beneath Mournhole? Well, that's a secret, of course. Worth quite a lot, and found only in hard-to-come-at and dangerous places. But now and again an adventurer will come by with a fine load of ore, looking to have a helm or bracers made, so they must still be finding new deposits. Hmm. Would you happen to know who the anonymous writer of this is? No, I have no idea who the anonymous writer of the common tongue is. Stands to reason, doesn't it? He's anonymous, right? And I never read the common tongue anyway. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. There's much to discuss. I have all adamantium much armor. Much to learn. What do you want? I'm here to make weapons, not to chat. Hmm. Spoke to the orc. Found him. Actually, not bad. Of a person, he's not all that stupid. So, do you happen to know who the anonymous writer is? The common tongue. Don't know anyone named Anonymous. Oh, you mean a guy who writes that doesn't sign his own name. For the common tongue? Well, how am I supposed to know who he is if I don't know his real name? Sheesh. I have no interest uh, in getting new adamantium armor. I already have a good set of it I'm wearing. And truth be told, this is the first place I've ever seen anybody anywhere wear adamantium armor. Hello? May I help you? Salutations, Dark Elf. Would you like to look over my wonderful collections of clutter? Perhaps you would even consider helping me fill up my collection. Getting on his good side. Which wasn't that difficult. Uh, do you know who the anonymous writer is? The anonymous writer you're looking for. Does he have a name? Ho ho, I'm joking. Of course. No, I'm sorry. I cannot help you. I'm sure I can get all manner of quests from everybody here, but do you I'd need like to leave something? The city. Very, very shiny. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Oh, what do you sell? Oh, a lot of magical items. Unfortunately, I've sold everything I can. It wasn't that difficult once you start going to all the vendors. And oh, you can have this. Give me thirty-four, please. Twenty-five. Thank you. Anyways, I spoke to this odd-looking Breton man. And, uh, asked him, Do you happen to know who the anonymous writer is? The, this anonymous writer you're looking for, Does he have a name? Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm joking. Of course, no, I cannot help you. Uh, who writes the common tongue? If this fool actually talked to me... Well, that's all there is to it. This is the entire place. There's a door here. It says keep out. Hmm. No traps. Ooh, even better. Raw ebony. Raw materials. Oh, I think Talk I the found boss. the place we where they just the... work here. Talk to the boss. There's four people here. Don't talk to me. Talk to the boss. We just work here. But don't try anything funnier. We'll settle with you the hard way. Who is the boss? I have nothing to say. You want to talk to Varys? Yeah, so I've heard. We are you Varys? The, truth, the straight truth. What are you doing here? And may I suggest you make your answer very clear because this office and what we do here is a well-kept secret and we wish to keep it a secret, even if it means that you do not leave here alive. <sighs> okay. You will stop printing lies about King Helseth. I haven't printed lies about King Helseth in the common tongue. I've only printed the truth, and I intend to keep on printing the truth in the common tongue, unless you think you can stop me. <laughs> I think a donation of 3,000 gold to the Widows and Orphans Fund will stop you. Hmm. You are a shrewd judge of character. I'm a man of principle, and will not hold my common tongue for a payment of gold, but I know what benefits gold can do if used in a good cause. Very well. I will not discuss King Helseth in the common tongue. You have my word, and I'll take your 3,000 gold, and will contribute it to the Widows and Orphan Fund. And now, if you'll excuse me, we'll have to relocate immediately, now that the secret of our office is spoiled. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello? Talk to the boss, I've just hired help. It's true to my word. I said I would not discuss King Helseth in the common tongue. That's what you wanted, and that's what you've got. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. Well, we've done what we came to do. Let's return to so that imperial guard captain. Back to Tenyanis Delichian. Yes, no, Railvane. It, this is an official matter. I've oh, located the Anonymous Writer, yep. Yeah. So Charles Varus is the Anonymous Writer of the Common Tongue, and Charles Varus gave you his word that he would not discuss the King Helseth in the Common Tongue, and you gave him 3,000 gold to contribute to the Widow's and Orphan Fund. Um, yes, a small sacrifice in the service of my king. Well, we place great trust in your judgment, and we are very satisfied with your service and sentiments. You shall have 3,000 gold to cover your expenses, and a rich reward and great honor besides. I give you a king's oath, Blade, exactly like those used by the Royal Guard, only those sworn to the king's service and tested by great trials may use them. They bear deadly curses that kill thieves and traitors, and there's one last official matter. Go to Lady Baron Zaya. She's asked to speak with you. Okay. The king's health to you, Sarah. This must be a heavy sword. <laughs> By the nine, this is an expensive sword. It's a little bit too heavy. Yeah, I don't even know if I can barely... Hmm. How could I lose more weight? Shiny, I'm gonna have to give you a few things. That is not enough. Here. That is enough. Ah, oh, the king isn't here. Aren't I important enough to see him? Hey, since he isn't here, I can sit on the throne. <laughs> I don't think that that's a good idea. What are you doing? Get it's out! It's hard to look at. What? Since the king wasn't there, Shannon decided to try his throne out for... Size. The guards weren't too impressed, and I think we better make a sharp exit. Shiny. Oops, we better get out of here. <laughs> I gotta go the opposite way to see Lady Baron's eye. Just let them cool down a bit in there. Yes, the king isn't seeing anyone. Hee <laughs> hee, that was fun. Did you see the purple color the guard's face went? People are so touchy. Let's go and see the temple courtyard now. Okay, first we'll see Lady Baron's eye. But, you're right, we actually should. Let's go. Temple Courtyard. The guards are not happy. This is all it took so, to get you satisfied about seeing the king. Uh, yes? So. This is the Temple Courtyard. Or did Today you... and tomorrow, good luck. It's actually a very beautiful place, I think. This is it? Just grass and a few trees? I thought it would be more exotic. Oh well. Let's go and look at the Great Bazaar now. Okay. We were there earlier today. Let's go. I think everywhere more hold is beautiful, actually. By the way, I need to sell this sword. Good place to be. Oh. You're already so pale. This is more like it. Look at all the people. Hey, I just heard someone shouting they were selling pet scribs. You have to buy me a scrib. Please, please, please buy me a scrib, Snail Relvane. Pet scribs where? <laughs> where? Okay. We'll find this pet scrib seller. Looked like a monk to me, but happy to help. What's your problem? I have ears. I shall hear. <laughs> yes. Uh you wouldn't happen to know where the pet scrib seller is, would you? Mm -hmm. No, he does not know. Pet scribs. Well, if I saw a scrib. 
I don't know exactly where to go. I haven't seen one in, since leaving Bardenfell. Respect is repaid, Sarah. You could travel to Oblivion and back and not find deals as good as the, these, Wanderer. Thalon Othran has everything you could want. I severely doubt it. Anyways, let's go search for the pet scrib seller. Goblins in Mornhold. I've heard some odd stories of creatures in the sewers beneath God's Reach, but I never thought they might be goblins. Terrible creatures. All hail under the Drake, God's citizen. Reach. I already went down there, actually. Yeah, that's the sewer area. Oh, I didn't explore everywhere. Today and tomorrow. Not like under the Great Bazaar, where I possibly oh, explored everywhere. You. I'm listening. Can I help you? Please. Go ahead. Still looking for the pet scrib salesperson. What's I going to do today? Greetings and welcome, Sarah. Are you in the market for trained scribs and rats? I think you'll find my prices quite reasonable, and my rats and scribs are fine as pets or beasts of burden. Or as tasty little morsels. Alright. Tell me about your scribs and rats. Yes, when I was a lad, I dreamed of being the greatest scrib and rat trainer in the world. And given the limited capacities of scribs and rats, I flatter myself that I've achieved my goal. These creatures are priceless. But since I find myself unexpectedly short of cash, I'm reduced to selling off my superbly trained scribs and rats as pets. Okay. Uh, can I buy one for Shani? Ah, a script for the lady. I have just the fellow. Affectionate and gentle. That'll be 20 gold. <sighs> I'll buy it. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll just fetch him out. Ooh, he's a frisky one. Shani says, hey, what shall we name him? You choose. <laughs> um, let's just call him Scribby. Here you go, one train scrib for the lovely lady. Shiny scribby, not very original maybe, but it suits him perfectly. As long as it suits him. Drake and Dragon, citizen. What exactly? Oh, do is this thing gonna be following us around now? Uh, you sell train rats? Hello. Go ahead. Why are you selling off your whatever, your animals? That's right, you can have a script for a low, low price of 20, or a rat for 25. They're trained to follow you and attack anyone who attacks you, or you can buy my exclusive pack rat for 100 gold. They not only follow and fight, but also carry small burdens, and in a pinch, you've got fresh meat on the hoof whenever you need it. What do you say? Would you like one? I just don't want to be annoyed. I already have two things following me around now. No, thank you. Well, come back anytime you need one. I'm sure I can use the business. Sure you can. I wouldn't mind trying a pack rat out, but today and tomorrow, good luck. And if we go back to Vardenfell, I hope Julian will join us. I just this is too much as it is. Okay. Now, yes, we got dealt with the anonymous writer. I need to sell this sword. It's insanely heavy. I have no use for it. See, shows you what was her name. <laughs> What is she saying over there? Well, these are nice. Pretty flowers. Alright, so I sold the sword. It's time to go and spend the night at this tavern. Thank you. Thank you for the scrib. He's so cute. He reminds me a little of you, actually. Now, I saw a sign back there saying God's Reach. Can we go and have a look around there? That's where we are right now. Here. I have a thoughtful gift. I brought you a flower. Oh, it's beautiful. What is it called? Timsa come by? I've never seen a flower like this before. You must travel to some exotic places. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, exotic places. That's it. We're in God's reach. Look at these beautiful houses. Still, if I was a fine lady, I bet my house would be even nicer than any of these. Hey, is that a bar over there? I think we should have a drink after all this walking, don't you? Yes. I've got plenty of, um, brandy. The good stuff, Cyrodiilic brandy. I see you. What would you like? Hello. What do ladies drink? Probably something expensive. Go and fetch four bottles of Flynn. You're having some too. I'm not drinking alone. Of course not. Just please don't end up like uh, Julan. Do you want something from me? Move out of the way, boss. Anything I can do for you? Hello. How can Ratesh help you? Spoke to the Khajiit for a couple minutes. 
I actually found he's a little bit more cunning than I thought he would be just by looking at him. So, uh, Flynn. Four bottles of Flynn. I don't mind Flynn. I mean, it comes from the Empire, imported from the Empire. It's about the same price out here as um, Cyrodelic Brandy, but I prefer the Brandy, of course. Oh, 320 then? Thanks. Oh, that's Scrib. It's going to keep me awake all night. What do ladies drink? Probably something expensive. Go fetch four bottles of Flynn. Here you are. You got them. Here's to us, and having a good time together. She sips her bottle of Flynn. Hmm, she makes a face. It tastes expensive. The other three are all for you, Snow Railvane. Drink up now. I want you to relax. You're too stressed. Uh, thank you. I drank the three bottles of Flynn, and maybe more. I can't remember, but I suspect Shani had something to do with it. After a while, I feel relaxed and happy, and everything gets sort of fuzzy around the edges. I think I can hear Shani telling me that it would be a good idea to go for a walk in the Plaza Brindisi Dorum. Uh. <laughs> How may I help you? Same effect as three bottles of Cyrodelic brandy. <laughs> uh. Show respect, Sarah. Maybe I should get a pack rat. The Nine and the Empire. But if it gets Justice killed, what never. happens to all my equipment on it? Then I have to pick it all up and carry it. That's not a good idea. Yes, let's go for a walk. A walk. 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 Look at it. It's an interesting statue, don't you think? It's so open and beautiful here. Look, a fountain. Let's go and jump in it. Come on. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of being with Julian now. I don't think these guards are going to like this. I'm not stripping off my armor this time. Hmm. It is nice. Come and jump in the fountain with me, Snail Railvane. What do you think I'm doing? She giggles. You look so silly standing there, all wet. Oops. Maybe we weren't allowed in this fountain? I think the guard there is coming over. Quick, we need, we better run. Oh. Justice never sleeps. Hey, come on. Hey, where's your scrib? <laughs> we don't need your scrib. Phew, that was a close one, she giggles. Let's head back to God's Reach again. Okay. Uh, I do feel like a kid doing these things, but... She's having fun. That's what matters. I do like her. But maybe she's a bit young for me. But we've done where I live so long. What does it matter? And she's never been out in the wide world. Maybe I'd want to do all these things too if I'd never. If there's your words, stupid you scrib, scribby. Okay, we're back in God's Reach. Whew, that was a close one. I thought we were in trouble there. You're lucky you can run faster than Julan. He was always getting caught. <laughs> she laughs. Why don't we. Hey, did you hear that? That ordinary behind you just made a very rude comment about me. I hope you're not going to stand for that, Snow Relvane. Uh, you, you want me to fight an ordinator? Hello? Yes, citizen? This lady claims you made a comma defensive to her. Uh, maidenly honor. I must assist you apologize. Dark Elf, I have no time for your jokes. You reek of alcohol and you're soaking wet. Go home before I'm forced to throw you in the cells for the night to sleep it off. I'll give you one last chance to apologize, otherwise I'll be forced to challenge you to a duel for the lady's honor. Look, I'm a nice guy, so I'll give you one last chance to get out of this alive. You're drunk as a slaughterfish, and I'm one of the lady's elite guard. Don't be a fool. Go home. <laughs> Look, we both know this is ridiculous, but she's never going to let this drop if you don't apologize. I'll give you 2,000 drakes. Will you do it? A 
fair lady, I humbly apologize for any offense my ill-considered comments may have caused. I bow to the eloquence and courtesy of your noble companion. I wish you a good day. Shani says, I should think so too, you ignorant swit. I bet you only got that job because everyone wanted you to cover your ugly face. Don't push it, Shan. Sigh. Now go home and take your troublesome little friend with you. Gods grant you justice, Sarah. Going home would require us to go to Vardenfell. Ha, you showed him. I'm very impressed. But you look a bit tired. You've had a hard day, poor thing. Come on, let's go back to the Wingwar and get some rest. <laughs> I don't have to pass out, actually. We didn't sleep. I was up finding those three people that the... Whatever that guy's name. Tienius Di Dicletian? The Royal Guard Captain wanted me to find. Interesting. Go on. Mm -hmm. What brings you here, friend? Okay, so I'm gonna pay for the beds. Let's get a room, shall we? Yeah. Wait. I don't remember talking to this guy for rooms. I think I have to go upstairs. Damn. Fuck. How do you do? An Altner woman. Foot got stuck in the stairs. Hello, Outlander. Hello. I hope you won't take too much of my time. I'm looking for a bed. Yes, we have one available. It's ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yes. Very well. The bed is yours for the day. You'll find the room on the bottom floor at the north end of the bar. Okay. I know where it is. I've rented it before. I'm listening. I can actually what hold my own alcohol pretty well. Maybe just a little bit fuzzy. Head fuzzy. Okay. So I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Let's get a room, shall we? Yes, um, well. Shani, this is our room? Yes. What did you expect? Finally, close the door. Uh, okay. It's closed. I'm bored with being a lady now. I can see that. Ladies don't get to have any fun. She moves towards me, smiling. Um, okay. I kiss her. <sighs> the flynn swirls in your bloodstream, and everything seems to melt into Shani's eyes and skin and laughter. With surprising strength, she pushes me backwards onto the bed. Much later. <sighs> I wake, slowly, feeling more exhausted than when I went to bed and nursing a colossal hangover. Shani is nowhere to be seen, but I find a ring on the pillow and have a dim memory of someone biting my earlobe and whispering, I had lots of fun. Maybe you can take me out again sometime? Take this ring. Sinamu made it for me, and it will let you call me if you want to see me. I remember all of our time together in bed last night. I can handle my alcohol pretty well, but I'm not used to whiskey, so that would explain why I feel the way I do now. But was all this time worth it? Well, that depends. If this was a one-time thing, then no. I do like her. Very much, actually. Despite the age difference. To a human, it's probably a matter of only five or so years. And I don't think it's just the age difference. I think it's that she just doesn't know the world and is experiencing much of this for the first time. I am sure if I ever went to another continent, such as Akiver, I'd be wanting to see and experience as much as I could. I'd be asking silly questions and not quite understanding how everything works. So I will give her this, and indulge her. The first time I saw Shani, I was kind of shocked of how attractive she was. I have two rules when it comes to finding my ideal woman. First, I must find her physically attractive, and second, she must be willing to support me in my cause, which right now is to bring down Dagoth Ur. She definitely fits the first rule, and I think when we were in the sewers trying to destroy the Dark Brotherhood, she showed me that she's willing to fight by my side. Is that my cause? No. But she did mention in our talks about how she despises Dagoth Ur and hates Red Mountain. If she agrees to still be by my side when we finally confront and destroy Dagothera, then I couldn't ask for anything more from this woman. Results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps, but now you've earned every ounce of your success. 